Welcome to Clumper in the Corner. I'm your host, Mr. Clumper. Now, I bet I know what you are thinking. I bet you're thinking, that guy has no idea what a castle is. Well, <laughs> let me try to prove you wrong. Because on this episode of Clumper in the Corner, we're going to be talking about castles of the medieval times. There are many parts of a castle in the medieval times. We're going to focus on some of the main aspects of the castle. And so with that said, let's start with the Barbican. When you think of a Barbican, you want to think of kind of like a front porch to the castle. It's a, a building out in front that uh, is usually connected with a long, narrow pathway. Uh, and it serves as kind of the lookout area for the guards, um, uh, a building that has some defense use to the castle. Now the portcullis is a very um, distinct piece to the castle. It is the gate that can be raised and lowered with spikes on the bottom. They can raise it and lower it depending on if they want to get people to come in or keep them from leaving. Now once you get inside the castle you're going to see a few things like the bailey. Sometimes it's called the ward, sometimes it's called the yard. But what the bailey is, is the wide open grassy area inside the castle. You might see kids playing in the uh, open area, people walking about the bailey. Now, as you keep walking throughout the castle, you'll notice that there's a big two to three story building in the middle of the castle. And that is called the keep, which is the most safe and secure spot in the castle. Inside the keep, you would find rooms such as the solar. You may find um, a wardrobe or other rooms that the residents of the castle might be using. Now, you may notice that there is high walls inside the castle and around the castle, and the outer wall is called the curtain wall. The curtain wall is the outermost wall of the castle, it surrounds the entire castle and is a piece of defense. Now, on the top of the curtain wall, you will find a turret. A turret is a round um, spot on the top of the curtain wall where guards could stand and be lookouts with their spears or arrows. Now, if you are going to leave the castle, you will need to make sure that the drawbridge is lowered. The drawbridge can be raised or lowered depending on if they want people to come in or out. The drawbridge is how you get over the moat, which is water that surrounds the castle. Now, there are many parts of the castle in the medieval times. We talked about eight very common and main parts of the castle. Now your task is to try to draw a castle with these eight items. So thank you for watching this episode of Clumper in the Corner. I'm your host, Mr. Clumper. Goodbye.